it doesn't have to be our fault. You can make excuses or you can make progress. I've sat in meetings with people who say, I can't find opportunities. They won't give me opportunities. I can't get them. They won't do them. They won't, they're treating us wrong. They're, I've heard it all. So what are you gonna do? Make an excuse or make progress. Carve out a lane and, and do the darn thing. That was a good one. <laughs> Be intentional. Be intentional. Intentional about your money. Intentional about your time. Intentional about the kind of relationships that you are building. Don't just show up just to show up. I know when I, when I was running through the city, I, literally, I could I could have been at a networking event like every night, like all night, all day. There's always something to do. But when you're not intentional, you're you only end up just tired, fatigued, and frustrated. Some of you in this room right now today, you're gonna go home or go to your office and you're gonna add the 23 cards that you got to the stack of 75 that's already on your desk. But then you say your business is not growing. I'm stepping on toes and that's what I come to do. Destroy comfort zones. Because you have everything you need already. Nothing else needs to be created for you to succeed. You have access to everything you need. What you need to do is get focused, where energy, where focus goes, energy flows. Get focused, get intentional, take personal responsibility, show up like you're meant to be there. Y'all quiet. <laughs> Are you thinking? Yeah? Okay, this is my book. It's called Water Walker, How to Embrace Uncertainty and Do the Seemingly Impossible. What I do on a regular basis, I have a, I have a group that I, of, of business owners that I actually mentor now. I didn't even plan on doing that, but I ended up doing that. So I have a monthly group that I meet with, and we do, um, I, I mentor them online. We meet on the first Tuesday of every month in the evening, and you can find out more information about that out there. Um, but I'm all about teaching you how to, or showing you how to live bold, believe big, and take action. And not just take any action, but take the right action. Take the kind of action that leads to results, okay? WALK is the method that I teach in the book. It's an acronym, and if you're taking notes, you can write this down. Um, so WALK is an acronym, and these are, these are some of the lessons that I've learned. I kind of put it into a system. W stands for willing to stand alone. Somebody said, mm, yeah. <laughs> right? W, willing to stand alone. Now, my book, Water Walker, you probably can like figure out what it's about. I don't even know two people talk about walking on water. <laughs> so it's in there. Yeah. So I go, I actually take a biblical story and I break it down and then I tell you my testimony weaved into it. So it's almost like I show you what Peter did, then I tell you what Serena did, and then at the end I ask you what you're going to do. And it's all in 89 pages, and that's strategic. Here's why. For me, now no knock to the people who like to read for leisure. I'm not one of them. I do read books. I, I like audio books, though. That's what I prefer. For me, anything over 100 pages, I need to see the movie. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one because all of you have books that you have half read for the last 15 years and so I was very serious about writing a book that people would read and finish okay so you can go like get an oil change and finish my whole book it's just like me it is short and to the point <laughs> boom okay so the book is out there it's $20 please support um, so W is willing to stand alone. Here's what you got to understand. Everyone can't go where you're going because everyone can't see what you're seeing. And you have to be so committed to the business that is inside of you that you are willing to do it whether you get applause or not. Whether they choose you for the award or not. Whether you win the thing or not, you have to be so committed and so willing to stand when no one else is standing. For Peter, which I talk about in the book, he was the only one out of all the disciples, according to the story, that decided to get out the boat. There were other people there. But only one person stood up and said, I want to go out there. You have to be that one. K, 
Okay? So willing to stand alone. And I'm rushing through this because after you cut my time. <laughs> a, 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 A is the next one. Always take action. Always take action. It's not enough to say that I want to do it. it. At this point, you have to put one foot in front of the other and start walking. Some doors won't open until you walk up to them. That's true. Some doors won't open until you walk up to them. Oftentimes, we complain about what we don't have, but what you don't have is not necessary where you are. Uh-oh. So it's kind of like if I'm saying I need funding, right? I need funding for my business. I need funding. I've heard that like 450 times. There's plenty of money. you got to show a return. Please tell us what we're getting back. You need funding? Okay, so does that mean you do nothing until you get funding? Because your funding is not even necessary where you are. As you begin to walk forward, doors open as you walk up to them. You'll never walk and bump your head into a door at Target. Because when you get to a certain point, what happens? Some opportunities look closed until you walk up to them. I have a library near my house. The windows are tinted, the doors are tinted. There's, all, there's not a lot of people there most of the time. It always looks closed from the parking lot. 